Hi everybody, it's Mary from BehindTheChair.com and I am so excited because I'm in London right now and I'm actually in Anthony Mascolo's library. It's a place where creative expression really happens and I think he's such a brilliant creative person and of course we all know him as one of the founders of, of TG. But I really wanted to be able to take a close look at him as a person, as a man, as a hairdresser. Here's just a small excerpt from what we just did in London. I mean, I've just turned 57. When you look in the mirror, you realize how old you are, but you don't actually even realize it when you're roaming around doing what you're doing. This business keeps us very young anyway. I remember in uh, the 70s when I first started, we were only allowed to have two days of electricity in the shop. And we had just got this shop in Mayfair. And it was disastrous. You know, we're gonna go, you know, all the money that they had kind of put together was gonna just blow out the window. But they stuck with it. And I remember working in the dark, you know, just, and it was lucky because the, the, the look at the time was like a wash and leave. <laughs> so we'd cut it, permit, you know, rinse it all out and they would leave. I mean, it was Pat that made me start photography. She bought me a camera. I kept it in the cupboard for a year. Just one day, I picked it up and said, right, let's do it, do it ourselves. She said, yeah, I want to I do some makeup. Let's see if I can do it. And then she just started doing makeup. I started doing uh, photography and we both did the hair. It immortalized your work because hairdressing, you know, it's, it, it can be very creative and artistic, but it's gone. Once you've done it, it goes, you know. So the only way to immortalize that is to photograph it. And then, you know, eventually after we started filming it as well. OK, I've done that. It looks great. I can do something better next time. As I said, it's personal. So for the rest of the story, go to BehindTheChair.com slash it's personal.